Story. Mr. Story. Thank you, Mr. Uh, temporary Speaker. And as I rise to speak in this uh, debate this evening, I do so ever conscious that there is a family who grieve the passing of a loved one. I also do it in the light of what the Scriptures tells us in those words that are often repeated, that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. Because, members, we will all one day, when we pass this scene of time, not be held accountable to this assembly, but to the judge of all the earth. As we come to this debate this evening, I think Mr. McCrossan has adequately put it. The issue is not about the passing of Mr. Storey, but it is about what happened and the actions of the Deputy First Minister and others. But I wonder in this House this evening and as people watch in, should anybody be surprised? Did this come as a shock to the people of Northern Ireland that we had in the Deputy First Minister and others such a display, such a display which really said to the people of Northern Ireland and wider afield, our republicanism, its ideology and all that it is to us is more important than the law. It's more important than doing what we had said for weeks previously. We shouldn't be surprised at double standards and double speak from the party opposite. We've had and I have suffered as a result of coming into this house. I have lost good friends who have still to this day been opposed to us coming into government with Sinn Féin. The scripture says, ultimately, by their fruits ye shall know them. And what is in a person's heart will ultimately be displayed in their actions and what they do. Let's remember, Mr. Temporary Speaker, that the former leader of the Republican Party denied that he was even in the IRA. How insulting to the intelligence of the people of Northern Ireland can you be? And what can we say of the families of the disappeared? What can we say of the litany of families who have grieved for many, many years because of the actions of Republicans and they have never once said where those families are? With the exception of Jean McConville. And that for, forever will hang over the heads of republicanism as a shame and a disgrace. But Mr. Temporary Speaker, the motion makes reference to the immense sacrifice of people, families and communities. The member give way? Yes, I'll give way. I appreciate the member giving way. On the 23rd of May, the Deputy First Minister said, the role of every member of society is still crucial on the journey towards recovery the better we all follow the advice, all follow the advice and regulations that are in place, the sooner we can come out of this, the other, come out of the other side of this together. Would the member agree with me? One party decided to come out of the other side of it quicker than the rest of us. The member's an extra minute. Yes, and, and I thank that. And we, have, we have many quotes from the Deputy First Minister. I noticed that there was a quote in the Belfast Telegraph uh, prior to Mother's Day. And she rightfully, on that occasion, determined that because of the circumstances, Mother's Day would be different for those who had the joy of being able to celebrate with their mother. But I want to take you to a family in my constituency and a neighbour of mine who wrote to me on the following day. And this is what he said. As I said earlier, this whole saga has been made quite personal to me and our family. I buried my father at Tober Key Presbyterian Church on Monday, the 15th of June. He'd been suffering from dementia for a number of years, and his final three weeks, we had to admit him to Causeway Hospital as he had taken an infection. We couldn't see him for over two weeks, and we finally got him home. Unfortunately, he passed away within two days. 
We were all well aware of the circumstances surrounding COVID-19 and the issues it was creating for families of the bereaved. We adhered to every single element of the legislation as described by the undertakers. Yes, we were disappointed. Dad couldn't be given the send-off that he richly deserved. It hurt. However, and I want the members opposite to listen to this, not only to hear, but to listen. Yes, it hurt. However, it hasn't hurt anything like the pain we have felt when watching what unfolded at yesterday's Republican funeral. It's an absolute outrage, and I'm livid as I write this to you, Mervyn, for there to be one rule for one and not the other is an absolute disgrace. So, Mr. Deputy, or Mr. Temporary Speaker, there are questions for the PSNI. And tomorrow morning, I, along with the First Minister, will meet the place in relation Could to Could the member questions. bring his remarks to close, please? There are questions to the church authorities. There are questions to Belfast City Council. But I say to the Deputy First Minister in this House tonight, there are questions that you must ask, answer. And the best way you will answer them is by your actions. And I think those actions are to leave the office that you currently hold. Thank you, Mr.